G'day guys, welcome to this week's weekly developer update. I'm CW coming to you solo. Uh, there's been a flurry of activity on our socials over the last couple of days. Um, be, let's take this time to welcome all the newcomers into the ecosystem. Uh, if you haven't had a chance yet, uh, I encourage everyone to jump on to uh, either ergcube.com or sigmaverse.io to um, keep an eye on what's going on in the ecosystem as a whole. Uh, by all means, jump on to Telegram and Discord, uh, very active channels there. Um, and then, yeah, come and say hi, come and introduce yourself. Uh, let's uh, jump into this week's weekly developer update. Okay, so kicking things off this week, we have Green Hat uh, just working on Oracle's V2 as always. Uh, so he's uh, fixed the release pipeline for the Real uh, Rel 8 in release version 2.2. Beta 8. Uh, fixed the failed scans issue on the Clean App install. Has also fixed the REST API and released version 2.2. Uh, Beta 9. Uh, currently a work in progress is the off-chain code for the Oracle reward token buyback from the liquidity pool. And just reaching out to Kushti, just looking uh, into giving feedback scenario test. So the plan is for the Oracle to take the reward tokens from the buyback box. Um, how do we want to trigger it? Periodically, a manual or by the operator. And next up, uh, we'll fix newly discovered issues, so number 260 to 262, and we'll test the new governance, so simplified voting in the uh, Dexy, uh, the Oracle Gold ERG pool on testnet, sorry. Moving on from Green Hat, we have Kushti, and on the protocol and reference, reference client side, uh, he's finalizing version 5.0.9. Uh, he's merged two PRs into that. Still waiting on uh, the PR 1960 to be reviewed. So shout out to Morphic, Apex, uh, Pragmaxine, Fiona, and Green Hat to take a look at that. And has also taken another look at the PR 1958. Uh, on to Dexy Gold, he found an issue in the tracking script regarding the Oracle and LP rates. So he's fixed that uh, and tests have been updated. Uh, previously, they were not properly testing has also checked all the contracts and tests for how the rates are used, uh, fixed new issues as well, and has also updated the tests in that regard. Uh, Off-chain code has, uh, for the updating tracking boxes is uh, half complete. And then on to other things, uh, he's published uh, a forum post on the buyback tokens from the liquidity pool and uh, which is a contract extracted from Dexy to buy back tokens from the LP. And has also published an ID is uh, around auction coins. So I uh, encourage everyone to jump on there and check them out. Always great reading from Alex. Okay, next up we have Lua Vatra. And on the Padaya side, it looks as though the on-chain testing's currently on hold until an issue has been fixed up in the Sigma Rust repo. Onto the Padaya beta. While the on-chain testing is currently on hold, it's taken up tasks to improve the contracts and fix issues uh, during this testing. Uh, the biggest task done so far is to is the list on the list is splitting up the staking contracts into six different contracts. So there's the main contract, which also holds the state in its registers. So it's an AVL tree, can hold practically unlimited amount of stakers. Uh, for every transaction type, so there's the create stake, change stake, compound, etc. A separate contract holds the logic in a dummy box, which is created uh, to use as an input box. And this would be a good use case for the execute from var on the ergo tree bytes hash. Uh, can be verified on the main contract. But for now, the dummy boxes as inputs will do. And then there's many smaller tasks also. Uh, in progress and it's uh, progressing well. Hopes to be done with the beta code uh, by the time the above mentioned issues complete uh, so that on-chain testing can be um, well on the way again. Then on to the NFT tooling side. Uh, with the new artwork standard and collections keeping track of the metadata, uh, it's not as straightforward anymore. So made an endpoint that can be used to get uh, 
all the metadata from the token NFT, and we'll try and make it as complete as possible. So for example, also include staking info for staking keys and etc. So Green Hat mentions there he'll look into issue uh, 695 for Lua Vitra. And next up we have ErgCube. So it's added new sections. Uh, there's an ErgoPad IDOs, so that's done and complete. The ErgoPad launch token stats, it's also uh, implemented. A simple Google form giveaway mechanism is about 80% done. And then all native token stats uh, page has a new UI, which has been also implemented. And then on the front end side, categorizing all projects into the uh, respective categories. So there's DeFi, the DAOs, etc. Uh, also changing the front end UI and replacing spans with the SVG to show the project status. Um, obviously, yeah, it's about 80% done on that front also. And then has some uh, links. So the token dashboard new UI is up there. And as always, you can see ergcube.com if you want to check that out. It's shared a couple of photos with us as well, screenshots. Okay, next we have Ilya from Spectrum. Looks as though they've been busy as always. So the Erg Spectrum data bridge is currently a work in progress. The first iteration of the consensus protocol is finished. Uh, the handle protocol implementation, so the building block for signature aggregation is in progress. Uh, the Sigma-based multi-signature aggregation protocol has currently been worked on also. On the Spectrum Finance side on Ergo, just fixed various bugs in the bots. It's a work in progress. Uh, implemented the CI. has uh, also resolved la last bugs in the protocol logic to start the yield farming th uh, public testing. So uh, if you jump onto their socials, you can jump on there and see how to um, integrate or in uh, how to participate in the yield farm testing. There's also the Spectrum Finance on Cardano side. So there's new streaming API for the Cardano Analytics service. On the back end, the um, yield farming APIs for release, the SPF fee API for release, and the new history APIs for also for release. On to the front end and on the Cardano side, there's the manual refunds. Manual refunds has been complete. And the refunds from the history table, fixed history table displaying, uh, added timestamps for the Cardano history and the min value validator. Then on the other uh, ergo side, uh, that's preparing the uh, yield farming release. It's currently a work in progress. Uh, the mobile model behavior and also the ergo pay new actions for product analytics. Okay, so scrolling down, next we have low key node on the Blitz TCG update. Just a short one this week. So they're doing uh, some matchmaking stress testing this Saturday via Twitch stream. Uh, several from the Ergo community are participating, so it should be a fun time. Have fun, gents. Okay, scrolling down, it looks as though next we have Captain Nemo. And then on the fleet SDK side, released alpha version 26, paving the way for the first stable release. Uh, the, on the core side, added estimate min box value function and added support for it in the output and transaction builders. Uh, there's also cherry pick selection strategy. So that's for pre precise input selection. Uh, especially useful for uh, the ledger's limitation in regards to the twin it 20 token limit, so it makes it a little bit less annoying on that front. And then there's also isolate erg on change setting. So that forces the transaction builder to send nano ergs change to an exclusive change box. It's also uh, useful for the ledger wallets. Uh, in the common side, also added the hex byte size function and has made an order buy as a non-mutable function. Then on the Nautilus side, released version 0.7.3, fixed an issue with the change boxes with 80 plus tokens by using the fleet's uh, box value estimator. 
Also on the asset icons has added Quacks, CYPX and proxy icons. And then in, on the ledger side has added ledger specific optimizations for improved user experience, uh, namely one, use of the fleet's cherry pick selection strategy. So being able to precisely select inputs and avoid the too many tokens error. I kind of mentioned that a little bit earlier. And then two, isolate distinct tokens on the distinct change boxes, which will uh, optimize further, further transactions. And then if you want to check out an example of that transactions with the optimized change for Ledger, you can, there's a link below. Uh, HQ missed a screenshot of the front end. Let's see that one. Another busy bee, Glasgow. Diving deep into the docs as always. So it's added the auto doc outputs for the Ergo app kit and the Ergo Python app kit. So there's a tutorial on how to use those. Follow the link. So he thinks the answers are pretty accurate and he's getting a sort of great learning experience, uh, learning assistance in his testing. Uh, so just using it to tidy up the docs and has also bridged the Ergo AI telegram uh, for anyone who's interested. That's pretty cool being able to ask a question and getting a response prompted back, which is pretty cool. Scrolling down, it looks like next we have Pulsars and the Ergo Monitor. So I've discovered the token endpoint problem in the latest node version uh, where the token info was sometimes not available. So it's added a fallback to the Explorer if the token's not found through the node endpoint. And then added uh, the Rosenbridge monitoring. That's all set for when Rosenbridge goes live. It only reports on transactions inv involving the Ergo chain. Uh, so it also shows the SIG USD value of the transfer using spectrum pricing. And most of that work can be reused when uh, get native tokens on centralized exchanges, which is pretty cool. There's a bit of chatter here. Let's keep scrolling down. An update from MHS on the Rosenbridge side. So he's mentioned the Rosen team's currently on vacation this week, so there's no development progress. Hope everyone uh, has some nice time away from the screens and get some sunshine, touch some grass, just relax a little. Uh, the public test is currently still ongoing and the bridge is working as expected. Uh, there's also two known issues with the Sigma Rust that are already fixed and uh, just pending stable release by the Green Hat team and no other issues during the test period. Some UI fixes have been complete and the assets and transaction tabs have been enabled. So next week they'll add Comet to the bridge and use it for, um, and open it up for everyone to test also. Uh, just below that, Glasgow links the Rosen repo. Once again, a bit more chatter. Dan's working on uh, minting some NFTs. Great to see the community involvement there helping out. And then finally, an update from QX. So anyone's welcome to test out his new Explorer node and GraphQL instances uh, before he publishes them officially. Uh, thanks to Rickles for the SS, SSL help uh, two nights in a row. So it's not 100% um, at capacity yet in regards to speed. Uh, just has to get some hardware fixed up. <laughs> and his machine's been a jerk. <laughs> uh, it's still the fastest Node Explorer that he's used so far, but in fairness, he's about five miles away from it. Uh, the speed for the disk uh, input output is currently around six 700 uh, read-writes. Soon to be about seven times faster with that um, upgrade of the hardware, which is great to see another uh, more redundancy in the network. So if you want to check out the links on the Nautilus side, you've got the GraphQL server link. Um, there's the Explorer URL, URL also. Uh, you can also implement that into or integrate that into the Safe uh, W wallet and also Terminus, Terminus and Ergo wallets. 
Uh, thanks for that, mate. It's great to see. Uh, it's running on, looks slow. It's running through the Cornell network as well. Should be a pretty solid connection. All right, guys, that sums up this week's weekly developer update. It's great to see uh, the community involvement, um, like I mentioned, in regard to uh, Dan specifically having some questions around minting NFTs and everything. Uh, LGD, Noah, a um, number of others uh, jumping in there and helping out and providing assistance. And that's the beauty of having uh, open source and collaborative sort of environments here on Ergo. Thanks everyone for tuning in to this week's weekly developer update. Take care everyone. Have a good one.